I'm a singer-songwriter from Portland, Oregon, originally from Canada, and I'm really excited to share my project with you. We started out in Vancouver, BC, recording with Eric Nielsen and Howard Redekop. We did a lot of our recording at Afterlife Studios, really great space. Um, we got to use a bunch of cool vintage instruments like the World of Sir Organ, uh, 1901 Steinway Grand Piano. So just a lot of really neat instruments there and really inspiring space to, to just piece the songs together and, and get creative with the band. So we're here at Afterlife Studios. Just wanted to talk a little bit about this amazing grand piano that I'm gonna to get to play for Finders Keepers. This is a 1904 Steinway, six foot grand, and it was built in New York. Um, it sounds amazing, so I'm pretty excited to do some recording on it. My name is Ryan, and I play the electric bass and the upright bass. I love the basses that I got to play. I got to play a vintage Hofner Beetle bass. When I first picked it up, it was so light and it felt so weird, like the proportions are so different than what I was used to. I, I didn't know if I was going to like it at first, but at the end of the week, that was my favorite bass to play on. It had a great sound. And, it's just cool looking. Um, also got to work a lot in the Menagerie, which is Howard's studio. Pretty sweet place too, because it felt really homey and Howard just really made us feel comfortable there. We spent a lot of time going over our songs in pre-production first and to nail down the arrangements that we wanted. My name's Gabe. I play drums for Elise LeBlanc. I don't really have music theory or anything like that to back me up. So when Eric and Howard were in the studio, they were really cool and just really helped me understand what they wanted to see or what they wanted to hear. They gave me my space and let me figure it out, and um, I thought that was really cool. My name is Heather, and I do a lot of things in Elise's band. I play guitar and glockenspiel, and I do some shaker and tambourine and I do backup vocals. I actually spent a lot of time in the control room for about the first week and a half with Eric because you do backup vocals last. Well, this is day six of me. You should show us what you've been doing. I just, I spend all my time playing this game. Just to see him work with the other musicians was really cool how he got the best performances out of Elise and Ryan and Gabe, and he just like called us all to be the best that we could be. Howard and Eric were super patient with us and really great to work with. They were really encouraging and helped us to get the, the sound that we were going for, and they were really great coaches and just awesome guys to work with, so. We're like 5% down the record right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, that's great. <laughs> Being in the studio is just a really awesome experience. I feel like this is really happening, we're really here. It's taken a lot of work and a lot of group effort to make this happen. We were happy to have some special guest musicians join us on the project. Um, my brother, Jordan LeBlanc, joined us on lap steel guitar and acoustic guitar, that was really great. And we had Eric play bass on Finders Keepers, which was really cool. Um, we had my friend Sarah come down and sing as a guest backup vocalist for Finders Keepers. It felt amazing to have my babies finally recorded. What just happened, Elise? We just finished the final, final recording. Woo! Yay, so final vocal take of Diamond Soul. I just finished the harmonies on it. And it is our final day in Vancouver. Tomorrow we're heading back to Portland. We're super stoked. Songwriting is a really, difficult process to set in stone something that you've been creating for a long time. A lot of these songs I've been writing over a period of four, five, six years. Some of these songs are six years old, so I'm just really happy to finally have them ready to share with the world. They all just turned into something that we couldn't have predicted, and I'm really happy with the results.